Have you ever wondered how much societal expectations of women have changed over the years? Once upon a time, a woman's primary roles were centered around marriage and raising children. It was expected, even demanded that every girl grow up to become a doting wife and a nurturing mother. Her success and worth were largely measured by these roles. But as we look around today, we see a different landscape entirely. We live in an era where women have the freedom to choose their path, and that includes choosing to remain single. The societal fabric has evolved, and so have the expectations. The term spinster, once used derogatively, is swiftly losing its sting. Today it's not uncommon for a woman to be single by choice, and not by circumstance. This shift didn't happen overnight. It was a gradual process, propelled by numerous societal, cultural, and economic changes. The feminist movement, advancements in education and employment opportunities for women, and the availability of contraception all played pivotal roles in this transformation. Women began to step outside the confines of their homes, seeking fulfillment in areas other than marriage and motherhood. Today, women are CEOs, scientists, artists, engineers, and so much more. They're shattering glass ceilings, breaking stereotypes, and redefining norms. They're choosing to marry later or not at all, prioritizing personal growth, education, and career advancement. They're embracing the freedom to make choices that align with their aspirations and values. Of course, this doesn't mean that marriage and motherhood are no longer desirable. Many women still choose to marry and have children and they find great joy and fulfillment in these roles. The difference is, it's no longer the only path. It's no longer the societal yardstick against which a woman's success is measured. The societal shifts have empowered women to redefine success on their own terms. They've given women the liberty to choose, to forge their own paths, and to create their own narratives. And for many women, that narrative includes choosing to stay single, because at the end of the day, it's not about what society expects, it's about what makes you, as an individual, feel fulfilled and happy. In today's world, many women are placing a higher priority on personal growth and ambition. The landscape of opportunity has broadened dramatically, and women are seizing these chances with both hands. They're stepping into boardrooms, leading in tech, and making waves in fields once dominated by men. They're not just earning degrees, they're influencing the direction of research and thought in academia. But it's not just about career advancement. Personal aspirations take many forms. For some, it's about exploring the world, immersing themselves in different cultures, and gaining a global perspective. For others, it's about cultivating a rich inner life, whether that's through art, spirituality, or lifelong learning. These pursuits require time, energy, and above all, the freedom to make choices that align with individual goals. And often this means making the conscious decision to delay marriage or even choose singlehood as a long-term lifestyle. This isn't a rejection of love or companionship, but rather a recognition that personal growth and ambition can take center stage in a woman's life. It's about understanding that fulfillment comes in many forms and, for some women, the single life provides the space and independence necessary to chase their dreams. Choosing singlehood often comes from a place of ambition and the desire for personal growth. It's a testament to the courage of women who dare to define success on their own terms and who aren't afraid to walk a path less traveled. In the digital age, finding a meaningful connection can be a challenge. We live in an era where our next date is just a swipe away, where we're inundated with potential partners at the tap of a screen. Yet amid this abundance of choice, many women are choosing to remain single. They're not giving up on love, rather, they're refusing to settle for less than they deserve. In the quest for meaningful relationships, it's not about finding someone to complete you, but someone who compliments you. It's about seeking a partner who respects you, who shares your values and dreams, and who is willing to grow with you. A relationship that feels like a partnership, not a compromise. The world of digital dating can often feel like a labyrinth of superficial connections and fleeting encounters, and it can be disheartening when a meaningful connection seems elusive. But it's important to remember that quality matters more than quantity. Women today are more discerning in their choice of partners. They're looking for more than just a romantic partner. They're looking for a confidant, a supporter, a friend. They're waiting for a relationship that nourishes them, that empowers them, that makes them feel seen and valued. Choosing to remain single can often be a quest for meaningful relationships. It's a journey of self-discovery of setting and enforcing boundaries, of knowing your worth and refusing to settle. And in this quest, there's a strength and a beauty that is truly admirable. 
For many, singlehood offers an unparalleled sense of freedom and independence. This is not just about having the liberty to make spontaneous plans or go on solo adventures, though these are undoubtedly part of the appeal. It's about a deeper sense of autonomy, the ability to make decisions that are solely based on one's personal desires and needs. Being single allows women to prioritize their own well-being and happiness without having to compromise or consider another person's wishes. This could mean choosing a career that demands travel, moving to a new city on a whim or simply investing time in hobbies and passions. It means having the freedom to set one's own schedule, to define one's own life goals and to pursue them without restriction. It's about having the space to grow, to discover oneself, and to cultivate a sense of identity that is not tied to another person. This independence can be liberating, empowering women to feel confident and secure in their own choices. It allows them to build a life that is fulfilling on their own terms, not defined by societal expectations or traditional norms. So, is being single all about freedom and independence? For many women, the answer is a resounding yes. Singlehood is not a state to be pitied or fixed. Rather, it is a choice, a celebration of self-reliance and independence. Singlehood can be a celebration of freedom and independence. In recent years, perceptions of family and marriage have evolved significantly. Traditional notions of a nuclear family, a married couple and their children are being reimagined. Today, we see a kaleidoscope of family structures, each as valid and valuable as the next. Single parents, cohabiting couples, same-sex partnerships, and women who choose to live without children are all part of this vibrant mosaic. This shift has been largely driven by women who are redefining what fulfillment looks like. No longer confined by societal expectations, they are crafting their own narratives, finding joy and purpose outside of traditional frameworks. For some, fulfillment comes from deep, meaningful friendships that offer emotional support and companionship. They build chosen families out of these bonds, creating a network of love and care that transcends biological ties. Others find purpose in community involvement, dedicating their time to causes they're passionate about. They channel their energy into creating a positive impact, finding a sense of belonging and purpose in the process. And let's not forget the women who find contentment in their own company, using the space and freedom singlehood provides to explore their interests, passions, and the world around them. Each of these paths is a testament to the power of choice and the human capacity for adaptation and growth. Singlehood is not a status to be fixed, it's a choice to be celebrated.